Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and today we will be looking at a video by Wolfman85. So, this is going to be a ranked game uh, with a Petro. We'll be seeing how this one goes. This is a solo warrior match. So I'm definitely excited to see how this one goes. So, it looks like it's a Wooster, two Sams, Minotaur, Daring, Elbing, and Haragumo on the enemy team with two Des Moines, Fenzia. Petro, Marceau, Shima, and Vampire on his team. So, let's start with this one off. So, this map, usually you're going to want one DD in mid. And one DD either uh, to the south or to the north. So, we'll be seeing how this one goes with there being three DD. So, they're going to definitely have it to spread out. So, it looks like the, looks like the Petro is going to be heading up to sea. Uh, as well as... The Vampire and the Shima... Ooh, that's a server lag there. That's not good. It looks like the Shimakaze and the Vampire are going to be heading up to C. And looks like the Marcel is going to be heading B. It doesn't look like they're going to be sending anybody south this time. That That's definitely going to be interesting for this match. Uh, looks like Des Moines and Fenzi are heading down to A. With the Des Moines heading into the middle area there as well. Yeah, this was very interesting, not seeing any battleships in this match. Not a single one. Very, very interesting. Usually, of course, like, you would see at least one battleship in ranked, but... For there not to be a single battleship at all, that's very odd. Very odd indeed. So, it looks like the Shima is going to be slowing down a little bit there. Maybe he's going to be trying to get Torps out onto B. Yeah, Wolfman is prepared just in case anything gets spotted right now. And it looks like there is an early spot onto a Wooster. Now, there are shots out, but the Wooster did slow down, so he is going to be able to dodge those. And it looks like there was a spot down on the Haragumo, down on the A side. So, with there being two DDs up at the north... It's going to be putting a lot of, uh, there's going to be DD pressure down in the south that the Fenzi and Des Moines are going to have to deal with. So it's going to be kind of stressful to deal with that as well. Oh, and looks like the Daring is currently in the middle with the, with the Marceau. The Marceau is playing it well, uh, making sure it doesn't take too much damage. The problem is, though, he is being fired at by the Wooster. So Marceau is back. Ooh, that was a very nice shot by the Petro. A 16 kilometer shot, 17 onto a, a, a small DD like the Daring from that far. That's a very nice shot. Very nice. And he hits him again, doing another 2k to him. Very nice, very nice. Petros are very, very, very strong DDs for both clan battles, ranked, uh, as well as randoms. They're very, very very strong pretty much have the durability of a battleship uh just in a cruiser form the high penetration pen of the uh improved pen of the petros also make that where they can pretty much citadel even battleships um at certain distance oh man if that shot was if those shots could go a little bit higher that would have been whoo that would have been a lovely shot so the shima did launch torps out onto the wooster the vampire is pushing and supporting the Petra as well. It looks like the Marceau is being pushed by the Salem, but is making a grave error because of the Petra right here. Ooh, is this Petra going to be able to punish him? Ooh, a little bit too far forward there. If he aims a little bit further back, he get a sweet spot on that Salem. That would be beautiful. Oh, and he did a nice 16k salvo. Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Is, is the Salem going to let him do it again? Oh, and he let him do it again, but he only got one Citadel that time. That Salem is getting melted. Yep, that, that poor Salem. He is just getting wrecked by the Vampire on one end. But the thing is, the Salem did not go out without a fight. He did get, he was able to get the Marcel low enough for the Haragama to get the kill. So at this point now, it's one to one. 
uh, with the Salem dead on the enemy team and the Marceau dead on their team. So losing a DD when spotting is very important is very, very, is, it's a big loss. So we'll have to see what the what they, this team does here. So right now the Petro is using the smoke to be able to sneak up onto the Wooster. He does bump the vampire, which was accidental, but luckily the vampire's smoke is a crawl. So he's able to sneak that, but now that shot was a little bit off there. Ooh, and he almost eats a Torp super close. Opening, he's now shooting up the rear. He is trying to, and he's getting a lot of pins on that rear section of the booster. That's a very, very smart move because it's a it's a flat plate right there. So if you aim right for that flat section there, you can you can get pins in there if you aim for it. Very well done. That's a very, very good job. Yep, he's he's trying to get the shot again. Will the booster be able to survive? It is only one of the guns. So it probably won't be able to hit him. He's going to be doing again. The Wooster is really low right now. Oh, and he got a Citadel. Wow. Citadel up the ass. Well done. Amazing. Well done, Wolf. Very well done. All right. So now it looks like the Elbig... And the Daring are going to be currently holding B. Ooh, and looks like the Shima's out there as well. All three DDs are pretty much wolf packing at this point. Ooh, that's kind of spooky. But yeah, it looks like the, there's Des Moines and Fins. Oh, the two Des Moines are down south. The Fins, yeah, got killed. So right now, the Petro is fighting uh, the Haragumo, trying to get his health down. But the, van the radar of the Petro is very low. It doesn't last very long, so he's not going to be able to keep him spotted for very long as the hard gun goes into smoke and starts farming him. Alright, so... Right now, it seems like the Vampire, Shima, and Petra are pushing into B-Cap. The Daring seems like he's trying to maybe sneak around on behind, try to get Torps out of this Petro. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I'll have to wait and see. He could also be trying to get, uh, trying to just Torp him when the Petro pushes. He could be just waiting for that situation. All right, so it looks like the Elbing is safely out of the situation, the Daring and the Harakumo. It looks like one of the Des Moines did die in that engagement, so right now it's three to three. So it's kind of stressful right now because three to three, but their Des Moines, their Des Moines is completely isolated right now. Because there is a Minotaur on the southern side of the map that could take out the Des Moines if it's not careful. Ooh, and that was a very wise move by by Wolf. Getting spotted and being able to recognize, hey, I know there's a DD out here, let me radar him. So the the so he is able to get two salvos in before he goes dark. Takes a nice chunk out of that out of that daring before he's able to go dark. Very nice of very well done. Ooh, he still got even more shots in him. Wow, nice. Nice blind fire. And right now, he's just doing a spread, trying to get any shots he can, hoping to hit him. And he did miss, so at this point, he did lose track of the daring, but very nice blind shot by him. That was very well done. So right now, he knows the daring Haragubar out wide. With the vampire and the Shima still trying to support him as well. And the Des Moines kind of doing circles right now with the Minotaur. If the Des Moines isn't careful, he's gonna get, he's gonna get blapped by that Minotaur. 
Yep, it looks like the Minotaur did go a little bit wide around the island, but he's going to be revealing his broadside to the Petro. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Very nice shot. Very well done indeed. Mm-hmm. So right now, he has to do a he, he has to try to do a balance of holding B while also trying to support his teammates that are down his teammate that's down in A, while also trying to protect the vampire and the Shima from the Harugumo and Daring. Cause the Shima isn't gonna be able to handle itself against the Harugumo and a Daring. But a vampire is more able to because it has sonar, it has the crawling smoke. And the vampire is a very capable uh DD killer. So it can handle itself a lot better, but... Ooh, and the Minotaur was able to kill the Des Moines. That's a very big loss right there. That is not good at all. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, looks like the Harugumo did decide to open up fire onto the Vampire. And the vampire is just eating lead right now from the ha from the Harugumo. Because his smoke did end, so the vampire has to run away pretty quick. If he doesn't, he's going to die to that, uh, that... Oh, and he did! <gasps> Damn, that is, that is not good. So right now, it's only the Shima left with the... Wow. There's only a Shima left with the Harugumo daring... Minnow and Elbing to fight against the Petro and him. It's not looking too good because the Petro doesn't have all the spotting in the world. It, it has its radar, it has its sonar, and it has its heals. And the thing is, is that if he's not careful, he's going to easily get squished by that. Or he's going to get easily torped. But yep, he did have HE prepared. He did a okay hit four shots at 3k. Very nice. And now it looks like the Shima and, and him are both teaming up on the Harugumo. Very nicely done. The problem is now he's going to be behind. Oh, and that shot went a little short. Oh, no. And the Shima is going in. No. And the Shima, he went to aggro. Yeah, that is a big, big loss right there. Losing the losing the Shima like that, the other team must be like, yes, this is going to be an easy win. But the thing is about Petros, they uh, they don't like to die. <laughs> so it's we're gonna see how this one goes. And I say so a lot, Jesus. I need to stop saying so. All right. All right, so the Har the Minotaur, Elbing, Harugumo, and Daring are still alive. The Daring is low health, Harugumo is low health. The Minotaur was low health last time we saw it, but he does have a super heal, so he's going to get back up. The Elbing, we have no idea how much that is right now. I'd be interested to see... Oh, and yep, that's the Harugumo. He's trying to do a little sneaky, just pop around the corner, would do last few shots... It's going to be interesting to see if if he's going to be in Torps around here because he still doesn't know where this, the Daring went ever since he was last spotted in F8. Oh, and that could be the, that is a sign. That could be the sign of the Daring or the Elbing. The thing is that he has to keep the B cap. So he has to keep putting pressure on to B. If he lets go of B, they're going to be able to gain more points than him. Right now, he does have the point advantage by about nine, about 90 right now. So keeping that point advantage is super important. He's trying to fight to keep them off the cap so that while he fights to try to kill them, he's also getting more points to beat them as well. So he did pop his radar again. He does have shots out onto the Minotaur. That Minotaur is very dangerous. Ooh, and that's a nice Citadel up the butt of that Minnow. Very nice. 
Minotaur did, just showed a little, he just showed a little bit too much of his flat plate like that back there. And now the Minotaur is in a very dangerous situation. If that Minotaur dies, he's, he's going to be able to switch to the other DDs and just start hammering on them as well. And very nicely done. Well done. A very, very, very well played by Wolfman. It looks like he is being peppered by the Elbing with that AP. The AP from the Elbing is very potent onto uh, cruisers, BBs, and DDs alike. Very accurate. But right now, Wolfman is playing this almost perfectly, keeping himself in the right position against the Haragumo. The Haragumo doesn't know where the Petro is going, so he's just backing up and scared. No, like, because his last known position was that the Petro was reversing, trying to get spots on him. But with them being hydroed, he's just putting that Haragumo in a pincer maneuver. All it takes is for the Petro to get one good salvo on this Haragumo. That's all it takes. And looks like the Daring did sneak all the way around to see. To get the sea cap. So now he knows where the Elbing is. He now knows where the Daring is. And look at that. Mm, awesome kill. Beautiful. Well done by the Petro. So far he's got four kills. 136k high caliber. He got a high caliber back at 86k health. Because there was no battleship, so at this point, he's just been getting almost double the high caliber at this point. It's it's incredible. That is that is incredible. Very well done indeed. And looks like the Elbing did decide to pop out a little. They're showing casing. It is still back there. Ooh, and the shot almost got him too. But yep, there's only a minute left in the match. There is a minute left. The Haragumo did miss his torps, thankfully. So now it should be a mad dash for them to try to kill him or get any caps. But at this point, the enemy team does not have enough HP to be able to kill him. They they have to just try to serve. They have they have to get a good torps onto the Petro. They have to torp him. The Elbing is trying to open water as well, but the thing is, the Petro is able to turn and be in to turn and be able to be safe from the Elbing. The thing is, the guns are also super... Uh, the guns take a little bit long to turn, so it's not really worth for him to, to shoot at the Elbing. He's hoping that the Daring would... Oh, there it is. He was hoping. He was waiting for it. He was waiting for that opportunity. And there you go. Wow. And a Kraken. That is a solo warrior... Kraken and a high caliber. Very well done. 3,109 XP. Amazing. But this is all for the time today. Thank you all for watching and talk to you all later. Blah!